This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Schlage model KS21 padlock with a Falcon brand 7-pin small format interchangeable core. It was sent in by Christopher in St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and he decided to turn his package into a little arts and crafts ransom note. He included a letter matching the theme of the envelope, indicating that this lock has been sitting in his desk at work for years, which makes some sense because the small format interchangeable core is used pretty much exclusively in commercial settings. Christopher also seems to have asked about it on Reddit and was told it would be pretty difficult for an amateur to pick open. And that certainly can be the case because these cores have two shear lines, one for operating the lock and one for quickly swapping the core. I can show you this on a similar lock from my collection. We have two keys here. You can see they have different bidding. The first one will open the lock and nothing else. The second one, however, you put in, turn a small bit, and the core pops out. You can see it's held in place with this little locking lug on the side. From the back of this, we can see the two shear lines. The first one is right here. You can see it move. And the second one is right around the core, just a little bit lower. Since we do have two shear lines, we need to get all of the pins set to one or the other, which can be tricky because when you feel a pin set, you can't know which shear line it's on. That said, in my experience, a substantial portion of these locks will rake to one or the other, particularly if it's master keyed. So that's the first thing we're going to try. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths thick turner and a 20 thousandths thick wave rake. This is from the new Echelon set. And as I'm raking this, I can feel those pins start to bind up and tighten. And you can see we got that open. Let's try that one more time just to make sure it was not a fluke. And one more time, we got it open. Even faster that time, I think. Okay, folks, obviously that worked out, but it's not always a reliable means of entry. I'd estimate only about 30 to 40% of these locks open like that for me, but that's a high enough number that it is always what I try first. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.